Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Tagmatic. Thank you for joining me today. And in today's Dying Light video, we're going to be talking about getting a lot of the small trophies in order to go ahead and get all your modifications and gadgets upgraded to the max. So what you're going to do, and please disregard that zombie down there. He can't reach me, so we're going to be looking for these icons. And we're going to be looking at night for a dark hollow. They're going to spawn primarily in these locations. You're going to get one similar icon, which is going to be a volatile on the roof. But what we're looking for is the volatile inside, which is a hive. And this volatile is going to be glued to the floor. You're going to have to deal with some volatiles in this area. So I recommend going and using a toughness booster to mitigate the damage, as well as having some regeneration boosters. And of course, you're going to need immunity boosters because you're going to be spending a long time in the dark. And you're going to need a lot of these. But once you have one of these going, you're pretty much set to go. So keep in mind that you want to go ahead and use trash weapons. And you can do that by farming a bunch of those chests so that you can get a bunch of these weapons that you can utilize. Right now I'm just using an Axe of Orion. But I do have other weapons that I can go ahead and use like some of these junk weapons that you can kill these zombies that are going to spawn easily and quickly. So another thing to keep in mind that when it's nighttime, if you get a chase from a volatile, volatiles will spawn in the doors of and around this uh, hive spawn. So what you want to do is you want to wait for the chase to end and then you want to initiate this activity. So when you get in here, you want to make sure that you do not hit this guy. You do not use any elemental or splash damage, damage weapons. And as you can see, I've gotten started here. Let me change my weapon out. And you want to make sure that you keep him visible to you. Because if you move behind him, he'll kind of just determine that you have been uh, out of the vicinity. And you want to be careful with those guys too. I actually should have killed him right over here, but it's fine. He died over there in the corner. And then you just want to end up killing all these guys. Keep in mind these enemies are going to spawn on the roof and the surrounding area of the hollow. They will die during daytime, so you're going to have to go climb around and look for many more packets other than these ones that are inside here. And you just want to make sure that you uh, keep that healing going. Oops. So that your HP stays topped off. You can get a lot of trophies this way. I had to do about like 10 different upgrades that required 100 small trophies each. And I was able to go ahead and do this. You can do this indefinitely with immunity boosters. However many immunity boosters that you have is how long you can stay down here. And you're going to run through a lot of weapons. So just make sure that you bring a lot of weapons when you do this. And eventually you're going to fill up with enough corpses that you're going to have to turn these guys into packets. So in order to turn these guys into packets, as you see here, you can go ahead and pick them up. We're going to get rid of these guys. And what you want to do is you just want to exit the area, but not the premises. So you just want to go up top for like a few seconds. Stand near a far corner. And just wait. And once you give it a couple seconds here, you can jump back down. Actually, he doesn't register you from the second level, so you can just run around. He won't call anymore. And then, of course, there's going to be a couple of these corpses that are going to be left over. But you can just go ahead and pick these up. And you're going to get a lot of different trophies as well as various sellables that you can go ahead. So it's actually really good for your economy. So I don't know if you guys are like me. I like to buy every time I get by a trader or a repair worker. I like to go ahead and get all the um, oxidizers and uh, cleaning supplies, alcohol, stuff like that. And this is a good way to farm cash for it. So anyway, if you made it this far in the video, please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting. And I hope this helped you out. And have a nice day. Bye.